Hi, I'm touring the beautiful Kensington Woods neighborhood in Pittsford, New York today. Come on along. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Betty Battaglia from Howard Hanna Real Estate in Pittsford, New York. If you're new here and you want to learn all things about Rochester, New York and the surrounding area, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to upload videos every week. You don't want to miss one. It's a beautiful fall day and I'm driving through the neighborhood of Kensington Woods in Pittsford. In the summer, the trees surrounding this community provide a very lush backdrop for the more than 170 homes that are in this development. The homes range in price from roughly $300,000 to above $500,000. The neighborhood has a very cohesive look. The homes are an updated colonial style. So as you would expect in a colonial style home, you enter into a foyer with a staircase leading up to the second floor. And on one side of the staircase is a formal dining room. And the other side across the front of the house is the living room. But across the back of the home, you will see the popular open concept between the family room and kitchen. Large kitchen islands with bar stools that pull up to them for seating are very common here. Most of the homes also have an office on the first floor. The most typical floor plan in this neighborhood is one that has four bedrooms and two full baths with a powder room on the first floor and the owner suite on the second floor. Many of the homes, however, have an expanded first floor bath so that the office on the first floor can be used as a guest suite with a full bath. Of course, there are some three bedroom and five bedroom homes in the neighborhood as well. The neighborhood was built in two waves of construction. Uh, Graywood Custom Homes built between 2002 and 2006. A few homes were built by MGM builders but Greywood then sold off a large portion of the remaining lots to Ryan Homes, the national home builder. Ryan Homes built a section of homes between 2009 and 2013. There are some differences in the amount of detailing and the quality of the materials used by the two main builders that you may wanna be aware of. For example, Ryan Homes oftentimes does not put as much detail into their homes. So you may see things like the windows not being trimmed all the way around. They may use a thinner gauge for their vinyl siding or a lesser quality roofing material. And oftentimes you'll see this reflected in the price that the home sells for. Uh, there are always exceptions to this, of course, and your real estate agent should work to help you uncover the details. Kensington Woods is located off of Clover Street. Uh, Clover is a main artery that runs north and south through Pittsford. So if you head north on Clover Street when you exit the Kensington Woods neighborhood, you have a convenient straight route to Monroe Avenue. And in less than 10 minutes, you can be near restaurants and retail stores and have access to all the main expressways, uh, 590, 490, and 390. My favorite grocery store, Wegmans, is right there also. Uh, you're about five minutes from the village of Pittsford, about five minutes from all the local schools, and about 10 minutes from two very large shopping malls. Uh, if you exit the neighborhood and you head south on Clover Street, uh, in a few minutes you see lovely horse farms and um, are close to Menden Ponds Park, which is wonderful. And speaking of parks, Kensington Woods is directly across the street from Isaac Gordon Nature Park, which is a 118 acre park with trails for hiking, cross country skiing, running, bird watching, whatever you enjoy out in nature. That is a wonderful feature of living in Pittsford. There are miles of walking trails uh, through the town parks and through the neighborhoods. Uh, they're all many of them are all connected and they're maintained by the town. Uh, they check out the description below for links to lots of great information about Pittsford. Are there any cons to living in the Kensington Wood neighborhood, you may ask? Uh, the only thing that I can think of is a slight bit of white noise from Interstate 90, which is about a half a mile south of the neighborhood. Um, 
There are no exits on or off of the expressway there, uh, so you don't have to worry about a lot of traffic, but uh, you also don't have quick access if you'd like to use 90. Um, you have to enter elsewhere. But it also um, has never really been mentioned by any of the people that I've helped to purchase homes in the neighborhood, so I guess it isn't much to worry about. If you'd like to visit another Pittsburgh neighborhood, check out my tour of Charter Oaks.